Harris people. Semi-annual sale people. We gots to have a talk. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanilla McCall. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, a lot has happened since my last YouTube video. We are almost, we're basically at the end of the year. Um, but in more exciting news, one of my videos on TikTok has gotten over a million views. Yeah! <laughs> like, I was not expecting it to blow up like that. I was literally in my bonnet just being goofy and silly and talking about perfume and all the things and it blew up over a million views my followers literally tripled like overnight on tiktok um it's a very exciting experience i'm trying to absorb it and take it in and not get overwhelmed as i so easily do but i will post the link to the video so you can watch it down in the description bar um but yeah that is exciting i'm also been connecting and working with some people on YouTube and over on Instagram and over on TikTok. So we should have some exciting things coming from two for 2023. So that's a lot to look forward to. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers as always and to the ones who've been holding me down. I am super appreciative and grateful for you all. I cannot be here without you and we are slowly but surely growing. We are basically at the end of the year. And I have not reached a thousand subscribers, which was my goal. However, I was scrolling through some pictures on my phone trying to delete some stuff and make space. And I think when I made that, um, you know, vow, I think I was at like maybe 100 or 200 subscribers. Like it was very, very low. So I'm just happy for the growth. As I always say, I started with zero. So any number above zero is, a, is good to me. So if you want to support and you see this and you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you're on TikTok and you're into TikTok, go ahead over. It's the same handle, Vanilla McCall, over to my TikTok and follow me over there. And also, thank you to all those who have been supporting with the affiliate link. Um, it has shot up and is doing like really, really serious numbers. And I'm just grateful because it shows to the brand that people follow me, they like me, and they engage with my content. So I am very, very pleased overall. I'm very happy. I have quite a few bags here. Um, well, not... I have a few things from Math and Mighty Works. I have something from Victoria's Secret, and I have an empties video that all need to go up before the end of the year. So if I'm being responsible, you will see a semi-annual sale haul, a Victoria's Secret haul, and an empties video all before January 1st. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Now that all of those announcements are out of the way, let's talk about this to my annual sale. So I had brought my camera along with me because I was prepared to film. I, I filmed a little bit in the car. I'm like, this is so exciting, how exciting, how exciting. And I went to, to the outlet, which is like 40 minutes away. When I tell you, this store ain't have nothing. And this is at the outlet. So if they don't have nothing, what the stores have. They were starting off things that were at the last semi-annual sale and the semi-annual sale before that at 50% off. There was maybe one table that was like 75% off, maybe one or two tables. A lot of stuff was $3.95. And of course, they had a lot more stuff for 50% off from this um, from this year too. But I was just unimpressed. And this is coming from a person who doesn't buy a lot of things during the year. So I should have plenty to look forward to. I have a Fall and Bloom shower gel because I used the reward to get that. I used the reward to get blueberry sugar pancakes. I think I used the reward. To, and this is just like a shower gel of Fall and Bloom, a shower gel of blueberry sugar pancakes, a shower gel of Enchanted Potion, and I think a shower gel of one other thing, right? That's pretty much all I've gotten since the last semi-annual sale, specifically for myself. I got some candles for some for gifts during Candle Day. Um, and I got a few body care items during body care day, but also those were all gifts and none of that stuff was new. So like I should have plenty to look forward to for semi-annual sale. The fact that I went in there, first of all, this is how you know I was unimpressed and have no intentions on going back. I paid 50% off for like three or four things because I was just like, I'm not coming back. Because it was nothing to look forward to. Like I was just unimpressed, unenthused. I just was really disappointed. This is my, I think this is my first time honestly being able to say that I was disappointed in my annual sale. And that's like big for me. Y'all you know, drop down in the comments. Let me know. Did you go? Have you shopped? Did you shop online? Had absolutely nothing either. 
I didn't even see any 75% off candles. Like, I, let's just get into what I got. Um, but it just was not giving. It was not giving. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our, what I got. Like I said, I was paying $3.95. And normally, I'm so petty. I'll wait till things come down from $3.95 to get it until it's actually 75% off. But I literally... I have no intentions on going back. So I was like, I'm just going to get what I'm going to get here because I'm done. Like, I'm done. Oh, this is something from, I don't know, this is old, but I have ran through almost all of my lotion. The shower gel is gone. And I think I still have some spray left, but this is hard to come by. So I was like, I'm just going to get a backup of the lotion. This is Fresh Gardenia, um, which is so good. If you're into florals, this is a really, really good one. Um... Golden Eclipse. To be honest, I don't remember what these smelled like. I was just like, just go ahead and get it. This is Glowing Berries, Shimmering Blossoms, and Sun Warmed Woods. Um, Let's see if this smells like anything. No. It's okay. I'm not smelling anything that's like I have to have it. I actually don't smell anything. Don't be surprised if that goes back. This is Bright Christmas Morning in the Lotion, which I think I remember smelling this and liking this. This is red, Ripe Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple. Yeah, this is good. I like this one. Oh, Blush Cardigan in the Body Cream. I think this was 50. No, this was, I think, $3.95 as well. This is Sweet Raspberries, Sugared Dipped Violet, and Warm Amber. Oh, this smells good. I think I'm going to end up liking this one. Yeah, that smells really, really good. Prismatic Stars in the Shower Gel. This is supposed to be Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, and Co Cosmic Cashmere. This smells okay. Oh, I like this, actually kind of looky like that bright christmas morning in the fine fragrance as well not to mention some of these the fine fragrance mist went up on some of these to 16.95 yeah this is good i would like it to be a little stronger but it's still really good yeah some of the um fine fragrance mist you can't even use a reward to get some of the fine fragrance mist because they're 16.95 and the rewards only go up to 16.50 Oh, sweet whiskey and the fine fragrance mist. So I got this, I think at the last sale, but they only had the body cream and I think maybe the scrub and I got it and I actually ended up falling in love with it. And a lot of people were saying this is supposed to be a dupe for, or like a reformulation of Bonfire Bash. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh, cause you, everybody know I don't like Bonfire Bash. It stinks to me. It doesn't sting to me. That's not true. It doesn't smell like anything. It's a waste of a fragrance, in my opinion. It's just like, meh. Like, what is it? It smells like air. So I was like, why do I like sweet whiskey if I don't like Bonfire Bash? It's that added note of berries in here. The Because I can see them having a similar DNA, but they're not the same. The berries in here makes, oh, makes me really, really, really like this. And I can also see this being unisex. It's there's a little masculinity to it but not overbearing to where it's just like no a man needs to wear this like i can see this a guy wearing this and it's smelling good but i wear this and i really really love it so i needed the fine fragrance mist to match the body cream and the lotion that i already have also picked up frosted coconut snowball in a diamond shimmer body lotion and snowflakes and cashmere in a diamond shimmer body lotion things like this are the reason why i like going to the outlet because they'll have maybe one or two or three or four of an item that just they need to get rid of and you can find things like this at the outlet it's harder to come by things like this at like a just a brick and mortar location just a regular store but and you can never find stuff like this online however Find things like this in the outlet is why I like going to the outlet. Let's see if I can get some out. Okay. Maybe not. It's a little thick. This ain't coming out. Oh, oh wait, might we be might be getting something now? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's see. If it's given anything. Um. I ain't really 
seeing much shimmer. I love snowflakes and cashmere as a smell though. Um, I don't know nothing about diamond shimmer. That seems like a bit of an exaggeration. Maybe I should have put a little bit more, but I'm not really. Y'all say something? Me neither. All right, well, you know, at least I like the fragrance. Okay. This is Sapphire Moon in the body lotion. This is supposed to be Sparkling Pear, Sheer Freesia, and Moonlit Musk. Now, this one I might like. This smells good. I actually like this. Did I get a whole set of this? I don't know. I like that Sapphire Moon. That smells pretty good. This is Golden Eclipse in the shower gel. I'm not smelling anything with this one. This one might go back. This Golden Eclipse is giving air. Snowflakes and cashmere in the shower gel. I'm pretty sure I just finished this one. So I think it's the old packaging and the confetti. Was it confetti? Faceted. The one in the faceted collection. That's what it's called. Um, I'm pretty sure that one is done. So I knew I needed another one because I really, really like this scent. It's not super, super strong. But there's something sophisticated about snowflakes and cashmere that I really, really like. Yeah. And I think... I almost want to say this still smells like the old packaging. Because you know Bath & Body Works is good for get, putting it in, in a different bottle and then changing the formula. Didn't nobody ask y'all for that? Keep my stuff the way I like my stuff. Thank you very much. Oh good, I got the Sapphire Moon in the shower gel. Yeah, this is kind of nice. I think I like this. We also got Bright Christmas Morning in the shower gel. It's fainter than I would like. But it's cool. And we got blush cardigan in the fine fragrance mist. I think this was the other one that I couldn't think of that I used. I didn't use a reward. I used a coupon. They sent a coupon in the mail. And you can. Did y'all know that the coupons they send you in the mail are now connected to the coupons that's on your account in your Bath and Body Works reward app? They're the same code. So you can't stack coupons by using one in the mail and one on your reward. They're the same one. I said, not y'all done got smart because I was trying to use a coupon on my app and one that I got in the mail. And we couldn't figure out why they weren't. It was saying it was already redeemed. It's because they're the same one. So the only one left in that particular group of, um, that was body care day. When I was buying gifts for people, that was body care day. No, it was a candle day. One of the two days I was buying gifts for people for Christmas. And, um, that's how I found out. So, I do have the shower gel already. I needed the lotion and the spray. So, this is blush cardigan. Um, this is, yeah, the res raspberries. Yeah, this is good. I like that. I can see this going good with champagne sprinkles. Is that what that's called? Yeah. That will go good with that. I got another snowflakes and cashmere in the body lotion. The body cream of that one. It's almost done, and I don't think I had a backup of the lotion. Because I wasn't expecting it to like it as much as I do. But I really, really like it. So I needed another lotion. This is Prismatic Stars in the body lotion. I mean, so far, to be honest, I'm not impressed with this Galaxy Collection. I just named it that. I have no idea what it's called. Um, I'm not impressed with this Galaxy Collection. Um, the Sapphire Moon is the only one that I like, to be honest. And to... Okay, that's not bad. And the way my collection is growing, I need things in my collection that I love and want to use and are excited to use. I don't have time to be taking up precious space in my precious collection with mediocre items. That is why what my project user up is for, honestly, is to get rid of things that I don't really care for so that I have space for the things that I do. So, I don't know. These might go back because it's just... <sighs> these last couple of items are how you really know that I was over it because I paid 50% off for these items. And I don't believe in paying 50% off for my annual sale. I don't believe in it. I think it's... It's highway robbery. Like, I just... Because they're eventually going to come down to 75% off. So, I'm just like, 50% off? Get out of here. However, I was like, I'm not coming back here. I'm not coming back. I'm not interested in coming back to Bath & Body Works. They were a disappointment. 
and what I smelled I actually really 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 liked so I just went ahead and paid the 50% off that is literally against my rule I have a whole video where I talked about things to do how to shop for during semi-annual sale and I was like don't pay 50% off unless you know you're going back to get a price adjustment I don't even want the price adjustment keep it because I don't want to go back that's how unimpressed I was however these couple of items that I got Okay, so this is Pink Lily and Bamboo. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that I sprayed on my skin and I really liked. This is Wild Lily Petals, Bamboo Leaf, Pink Ginger, Fresh Fig, and Sauna Wood. My camera was saying something to me. Yes, this one smells good. Look at this new packaging with the um, body sprays. I actually really, really like this. I think this looks a little more sophisticated and grown up. And almost... Kind of feel like they trying to be like Victoria's Secret a little bit. I don't know. Don't fight me. I'm just saying it's kind of giving a little Victoria's Secret tease. But, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like this. So I got this in the shower gel, in the body cream, and in the spray. And I actually think I'm really, really going to like this. I sprayed this on my skin in the store to be sure. This almost smells like a perfume. I ain't going to hold you. This smells like a perfume. And I wouldn't be surprised if it lasted like a perfume. Um, this is Whipped Rose and Vanilla, again, in this pretty packaging that I actually really like. This is Crushed Rose Petals, Cocoa Flower, and Whipped Foam. I got it in the body cream, and I also got it in the shower gel. Let's spray this one more time to see what it's giving. It, that smells really good. I ain't gonna hold you. That actually smells really good. I'm gonna wear this with Delina. Duh. You can also wear this with Glass Rose from the Mix Bar. I have Mancera Roses Benin. Now let me tell you. I didn't post the video, but I recorded it. <laughs> there are like five or six videos that I recorded and just haven't edited them to post them. In the new year, do y'all still want me to post it even though it's like two months old? Or do y'all want me to just start new and just keep going with new content and just freak? Cause some of the stuff, like as y'all can see, my nose piercing is gone. Some of that stuff I saw my nose piercing. Some of it is before I even dyed my hair. So like, let me know. Drop down in the comments. Do y'all still want to see the stuff I recorded, or just girl, just go ahead and forget about it. Just start over in the new year. <laughs> um, but it smells really good. Oh, that smells really good. If you like rose, you like vanilla. Well, if you like rose. If you like rose, you would really like that one. So that is my entire haul from Beth Mudricks in my annual So If you've seen any of my other hauls, you know that that is just like, that is a very small haul. I normally have bags upon bags. I normally have four, five, six, seven videos. I would not be surprised if this was my only haul from Beth Mudricks. Hopefully I can score a few of 75% off candles. That would be a win because I literally have one three-wick candle left from Beth Mudricks. And I, lo I love their candles. So hopefully I can score that. Other than that, this um, Golden Eclipse. I don't have the spray for any of these um, galaxies. That's weird. Well, how did that happen? So maybe I'll return the, um, the Golden Eclipse and just get the matching shower. I mean, the matching spray for... Sapphire Moon and for Prismatic Stars. That's probably what'll happen. Um, other than that, other than that, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Your thoughts. Were you disappointed in my annual sale? Did you enjoy some my annual sale? It's okay if you found a lot of things. If you were able to get things that you have been wanting or you found some hidden jewels it's okay if you sell a joy semi-annual sell you can sell a joy just because i didn't doesn't mean you don't have to enjoy it i am anxious and eager to hear what you all think again thank you all to our new subscribers and to my subscribers that have been holding me down i love and appreciate you all um i think that's all I'll see you in my next one bye